peace treaties with both the Creeks and the Cherokees during a bout with malaria, for which Georgia purchased a rice plantation for 4,000 guineas and rewarded it to him. Wayne would suffer from complications related to malaria for the remainder of his life. In 1783, Wayne returned to Pennsylvania and was celebrated as a hero, deciding to enter politics with other friends at the time. Initially a supporter of more democratic views, Wayne later aligned more with Federalist Party and George Washington after the Revolutionary War and joined that party. Like most Federalists, he favored centralization, federalism, modernization, and protectionism. He went on to support republicanism because Wayne ultimately believed that the United States should have a strong centrally controlled government, stronger banks, manufacturing, and a standing army and navy. Eventually Wayne presented himself as a candidate for the Pennsylvania Council of Censors and on election day in October 1783, he gathered troops and approached electoral judges, demanding that they be allowed to vote. He later used his position to support his peers. On October 10, 1783, he was promoted to Major General. Wayne was elected to serve in the Pennsylvania General Assembly for two years. Wayne was a member and took an active part of the Constitutional Convention. After the war, Wayne spent time living between Pennsylvania and Georgia. He had a brief career in private business running his tanner business in Pennsylvania and two rice plantations in Georgia. Wayne's view on slavery was the same as most of the American planters at the time. He owned enslaved African Americans after the war. In 1786, he obtained them through the confiscated plantations, Richmond and Kew with a total area of 1,134 acres, 459 hectares. He purchased 47 slaves from Adam Tunno, Samuel Potts, and others. He hired a plantation overseer to manage the plantation and direct the actions of his slaves. A record shows nine boys, 12 girls, 11 women, and 15 men from Adam Tunno for 3,300 pounds, paying £990 initially and then £2,310 over a five-year period. Letters by Wayne from the time express concern about the economic efficiency of finding and managing slaves and concern about their harsh punishments. In one documented instant, Wayne provided refuge for slaves from punishment in Georgia. Wayne also had a personal slave named Caesar that he named after his favorite historical figure, Julius Caesar. The plantations were confiscated and officially given to Wayne in 1786 along with loans from Dutch bankers for repairs. Wayne quickly fell into debt running the plantations. He is also documented neglecting his business, frequently attending out-of-state political events, social parties, time with former soldiers, time in Pennsylvania or traveling. His plantations were ultimately unsuccessful because of neglect and acquiring a large amount of debt. He later begged various acquaintances to assist him with making payments before selling the plantations. The yeah hashtag hit stories hashtag hood history hashtag hood tales hashtag backyard hit story hashtag hood hit story hashtag hit story in plain sight. Hashtag Westland Michigan did you know, thoughtful face.